This is supposed to be on a book ring ban? That didn't happen. I have 10 books. I'm just gonna go in alphabetical order because I got all of them except for one at Goodwill. I got a hardcover of P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. I've been wanting to read this since the movie came out, but the movie came out, seriously, I think it was less than a week after my boyfriend passed away, and this was in like 2007. I wanted to see the movie, but I knew I couldn't handle it, and then I found out it was a book, so I wanted to read it, and then I tried to read it, like, maybe in... 2009 or 10 and I still couldn't handle it so maybe now I can handle it I don't know we'll see I don't know if I'll ever actually be able to read this but I want to read it so I got it while I could um, this is only like a dollar because I got it from the library the next one is white cat by Holly black Holly black is actually one of the one of the few young adult authors that I really like I read Tithe when I was in maybe seventh grade, and I freaking loved it. It was so awesome, and I have the rest of the trilogy, but I haven't read them yet. I'm planning on rereading them, rereading Tithe, and then reading the other two soon. I don't know how soon though. Yeah, but I really like Holly Black. I got the ebook of The Coldest Girl in Cold Town because the Kindle version was like five dollars, I think. I'm honestly not entirely sure what this is about. Um, I just got it because it was Holly Black, so... I mean, I've heard other booktubers talking about it, but, I mean, I'm assuming it has something to do with curses, since it's called the Curse Workers series, but... This next one, I got this for 25 cents, and that's Rebel Angels by Libba Bray. There's a thrift store on the street, and they have, like, a pile of, like, 25 cent books that they're just, like, trying to get rid of that they've had forever. And this was one of them, and I have um, A Great and Terrible Beauty, but I haven't read it. I got it in like 8th grade. Seriously, I think I stole it or something. I have that one, and I read like the first few chapters, but I will admit that I haven't finished it. Of course, I plan to read every single book I own. It's been 7 years that I've had that book, and I haven't read it, so... Who knows, but the sequel was 25 cents, so... I'm not gonna pass up a book for 25 cents. Okay, and the next one is Sarah's Key by a French person, so I'm probably going to ruin their name. Tatiana de Rosne. How horrible was that? I don't know. I speak German. I don't speak French. French is. I can't speak French. Yeah, but I got um, A Secret Kept by the same author a while ago. I think I left it out up a hall on accident. This is about a French girl whose family is arrested during World War II, and they're, I believe they're Jewish. She locks her brother in a cabinet, and it's about her, like, 60 years later, retelling her story. It doesn't say on the back whether or not her brother survives. But yeah, as I've said before, I'm really interested in World War II and the Holocaust and um, Jewish culture and things like that. So yeah, this sounded like something I would really enjoy. Next, I can't believe I found this at Goodwill. Like seriously, who got rid of this? How old is this book? This book came out in 2007. I thought it was newer than that. Found The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz at Goodwill for a dollar. How? I don't understand. But yeah, I mean, I've heard some really awesome things about this book and it won the Pulitzer Prize, so of course I want to read it. I was really excited when I saw this at Goodwill. I got two books by Neil Gaiman, um, Neverwhere and The Graveyard Book. My friend Weston really likes this book. He's the one who is always recommending Neil Gaiman to me. I just saw this one and it's Neil Gaiman and it was a dollar, so I don't know. I tend to do that where I'm just like, I know almost nothing about a book. I'm just vaguely familiar with the author. And it's a dollar, so I'll get it, which is probably why I've bought close to 60 books in the last four months. No regret. It looks like it got wet, but oh well. As long as no pages are missing. Yeah, like I've noticed a lot of booktubers are really particular about how their books look. 
and I'm really not. I mean, as long as the cover isn't completely destroyed. Like, the only thing that really bothers me is when I order a hardback online and then it shows up and it doesn't have a dust jacket on it. If an online bookseller doesn't tell me that there's no dust jacket, that really bothers me for some reason. But I'm not as particular about the way my books look as most booktubers seem to be. But then, um, this next book is going to make me sound like a hypocrite because I got another copy of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon because the one that I bought, the hardcover, was pretty gross. And then when you take the dust jacket off, it still looks pretty bad, so it's just like, that one I think I did need to replace. But next I got... I got Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neela Hurston. I Russianized that, didn't I? Neela. I'm honestly not sure what this is about. I mean, I think this book is kind of in the same league, might not be the right word, but I'm going to say league anyway. It's. I think it's in the same league as like Toni Morrison and Alice Walker, and. but I don't know. Like, I don't know what it's about. I just know that it's like a really prolific book and it's really important to literature, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like this is one of those books that if you're an English major you have to read it. And then the last one is The Gunslinger by Stephen King. I saw the new Carrie movie two weekends ago, I think? Yeah, two weeks ago. And I've kind of, I've been wanting to reread Carrie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!